Hi, welcome to the world of colors. I'm Colors. Today we're going to make a gnome that we like to call Pete Moss. He's a cousin of Hay Hayseed Hanks and he does have shoes on. He's kind of a tall gnome. He turned out really nice and we're, we're happy to show you how to make him today. So I'm going to show you the materials here on the table that you'll need to make him. And I want to, to link below a video that I've already made on how to make these shoes. Um, they're made with a pair of men's dress socks from Dollar Tree and these St. Patrick's Day pots that we collected a while back so we could use them for shoes. And in the video that I'll link below, it'll show you how to make the shoes. So um, the only thing you want to do is add marbles to this one. We're going to add marbles to the shoes and we're going to add a raffia uh, tie on them. So that's for the shoes. The dress socks that you'll get at the Dollar Tree are like this, but they'll be a chocolate color. You could use this color too if you preferred. And then we're going to use uh, three pieces of five and a half square pieces of a cream color felt. We're going to use two pieces of six by eight burlap for the hat and the straw hat, five inch straw hat. And then we're going to use a five by four beard. We're going to use a pair of Dr. Scholl socks. These I get at uh, Walmart. They're really beautiful brown socks. A lot of patterns in them. They look really nice on the sleeves and everything. It really adds a lot to the gnome to use this type of sock. So you get those at Walmart, Dr. Scholl's. The rake that he's holding, I made uh, out of popsicle sticks. Um, and I painted them and dry brushed them, dry brushed it so it looks like this. And the uh, burlap little bag he's got on the other side of him is just a burlap bag that I put P. Dot Moss on for his name. It'll go on the side of him. And then a little bit of ivy and uh, a flower to go on his other arm with his rake. And then we're going to use marbles in the bottom of his body and we're going to use rubber bands and scissors and hot glue and hairspray and I think that's all so and then fiber fill polyester fiber fill on juice and that that'll do it for today and let me get this stuff cleared off the table a little bit and I'll be right back with you so the first thing I want to do today is make the hat and it's a hat like we made for um, Hasty Hank. Uh, it, I found that that was the best looking hat for him. So I'm going to do that hat again, embellish it a little bit differently. Um, so th this is how you make that hat. It's a six by eight piece of burlap times two pieces. And let me get rid of that tape real quick. The straw hat, a five inch straw hat that I got at Amazon. And those are what we're going to use to put the, the hat together. What we want to do is um, cut the burlap like we do a lot of times for the hats. We'll just do them like a Christmas tree. Two six by eight pieces. And then we want to glue them, but we won't glue them all the way down. We'll glue them to about an inch before we the end and stop.
I turn them around and do the same thing, stopping an inch before the end. I'm a little close on that one. Now while that sets up, we'll do the straw hat, and you, you just want to put your scissors right in the middle there. And cut around, leaving a little bit of a rim, about a quarter of an inch of a rim. turns out like that. Now we're going to turn the burlap right face out. And then this is what we want to do. That'll be good at the top here. We're going to put a little embellishment right here at the top, and that'll be a good place for it to go. Uh, then is what you want to do is you want to put the straw hat band down on the top of the hat. Pull that through a little bit. And we're going to glue the straw hat band onto the burlap knowing that it's going to come out a little bit farther than the, bur the straw hat and we're going to trim that at the end so we don't want to worry about it. So you just want to put your glue on the straw hat kind of close in the center and on the outside. And start gluing it all the way around. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back with you. So once you get it all glued on there, you just want to go around and trim whatever's sticking out. Neaten it up a little bit. You want to make sure everything's nice and flat. You may have to go around it a couple times and make sure everything's flat on there. And then you want to put some polyester fiber fill in there. And that's how you make the little straw hat, the straw burlap hat, hat. Now, I went ahead to save time and made the hat ahead of time. And this is how it'll look after you add the flower and ivy and little, add a little patch, your burlap. And that's how it looks. 
it goes from that to that. So this is ready to go on. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is put the body together with the Dr. Scholl sock. Now the top part of this sock will be a sleeve and the bottom part is going to be the body. So I'm going to save this for one of the sleeves. And I'm going to put some marbles in the bottom of the sock, flat marbles, in the bottom of the sock before I put the polyester fiber fill in there. Now we have marbles in the shoes this time too, so I'm not going to... I think that's about enough marbles for it. So I'll be right back with you. I'm going to fill this up to seven and a half inches for the body for the if you're going to put shoes on and if you're not going to put shoes on this one and that's an option you don't have to put shoes fill it up to eight and a half inches to the top of the rubber band um, so eight and a half inches no shoes seven and a half inches if you're going to use the shoes so i've got this seven and a half inches because i'm going to put shoes on him and I'm going to cut it off to about one inch. At the top. And the next thing I'm going to do is make a nose for him. It's a different nose than we normally make. I wanted this nose to be. If you can see. How his nose is here. I didn't want it to be real smooth. I wanted it to be more of a bumply nose. So, I figured out how to do that. Now, his hands also, I figured out, with along with the nose, we're going to do the hands a little bit differently too. So, it looks more like he's got fingers in his hands. You can see that. So, this is how I managed to do that. I took eight marbles flat marbles and put them in the middle of the felt two four six seven eight and then just wrap them up like i normally do if, if i had polyester fiber fill in there they round right out and then use rubber band and fasten it See how it just forms little fingers right in there? This happens to be the nose. And I'll show you how it, it gives it a lot of texture. You see how the nose is going to be shaped? What we're going to do is we're going to take our blush. We're going to highlight or bring the, the uh, bumps to the surface with the blush. And on the hands, it'll if, when we do this on the hands, it'll make it look like little hands coming out of the cuffs of the sleeves. Something a little bit different for them, more a little realistic. So that's going to be his nose. So when you spray the hairspray on the beard to set it up, it'll also over, have an overspray onto the nose, which will set up this blush nicely. So I'm going to put it on now. I've got the that blocking color on the front of the sock. 
that I'm going to use for the front. So I'm going to pick how I want the nose to go right here. Looks good there, right there, and we're going to glue it right in place. And I'll be right back with you. So I've got the nose all set, set on the body. It's cured on there and it, that's how it's going to look. And I need to make the sleeves. I made one sleeve ahead of time because they're kind of different sleeves this time and with a different hand. So I wanted to get that all made up ahead of time and show you what they're going to look like. They're five and a half inches. When you get done, you should be five and a half inches from here to the end of the cuff, and then you add your hand. So we're gonna make one of those right now, and then we're gonna attach them. So I need to put a little bit of fiber fill into the sleeve. It's always so easy to do that with these socks because they just stretch so nicely and you don't have to get a pencil and tie to, try to poke it down in there or anything. It just goes right in. And then what we're going to do first is we're going to put a rubber band around where the line is right here. and a rubber band at the top. This is the part where we'll be gluing it onto the body. Let me get hold of that just right. And then I do have a rubber band halfway between those first two on this no you can see where I'm going here I'm going to bring this back up Kind of double and over, over the, the cuff. I'm bringing it back up. So what we're, this is what we're doing with the cuff. We brought it back up, put a rubber band on it. That's where I'm at right, with it right there. Leaving enough room to put the hand in. We're going to cut out that extra polyester fiber fill. Now we're, we're going to put some, some jute around the rubber bands on this one. About three times around. Just clip it. And just put a little glue on there. Watch your fingers. I 
going to do it again for the second rubber band about three times. A little bit of glue on there. And then is what we want to do is make the hand, which is going to be just like making the nose. We use five and a half inch square pieces. And eight of the flat marbles. Want to put your blush on? like a match and then we want to cut off the extra and get that glued into the arm that ready there and you want to put your glue all the way around and let it set up I'll be right back with you and we'll put the arms on. Okay, before I put the arms on, I'm going to go ahead and get the beard on there real quick. Getting ahead of myself. You want to fold your beard in half and put yourself a little slit in the top. That's the part that's going to go around the nose. Now on the back, you want to take and glue it up the corners on both sides so it's not just a squared off beard on the bottom it rounds it off a little bit and then what you want to do is you want to put it around your nose like that and then glue it on back here at the back
And then what we're going to do next is add the arms. We want to glue those right on the back. And they'll come out to the front like that. I'm going to put this on fast forward and let you, you can see me with the arms on that way while they're setting up. Okay. Okay, so I've got the arms glued on. I'm starting to shape the face a little bit here. Next thing I want to do is put the shoes on. And these are how, how his shoes are going to look with the brown men's dress socks from um, Dollar Store and you'll see in the video that we link below how to make these shoes. You just want to make sure you put marbles inside the shoes. The video below doesn't tell you to do that but for this guy we're going to put the marbles inside the shoes too. So and then you just want to stretch out the bottom. You want that seam to be kind of straight across and you want to lay it on the top like that holding it down for a few minutes to let it set up. Now I'm gonna do it for real. <laughs> so you wanna put your glue on like that. Need some more glue. Plenty of glue. And then stretch that right out. And lay it right on the top. And hold it down. I'll be right back with you. Let it set up. So I've got his shoes all attached. And the next thing I do is we've got some marbles in the, his hands, so we want to make sure we distribute the weight nicely. So I want to tack us arms down a little bit at the top. I, I normally do that, but I want to do that right now before I do the hat and get him a little bit more stabilized. So we just want to put some glue where the jute is on this one. And... Uh, bring that in so the arms are a little bit farther down. I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm going to put it in and uh, or fast forward and uh, we'll be right back with you. So the next thing that we want to do is put his hat on and I did do the embellishments on his hat ahead of time um, to save time, but I wanted to explain that the little flower seed packets are just watercolor paper and I took some acrylic uh, craft paint, watered it down a little bit and made them kind of stain the packets brown. And then you just use a marker to, to write flower seeds and draw a little flower on there. And there's just a little bit of jute there a jute tie I put on there. The patch is just a little piece of chocolate colored felt and I framed it out in the jute. And then whatever little flowers you can find and a piece of the ivy. I also made, if I can reach over here, 
a little wheelbarrow to go next to him. I'm not going to make that up again. It's just something I kind of sit down and put together, and I, I don't even know if I could remember how to put it together now. But I put them together with uh, with popsicle sticks and the bigger wooden balls that come in the bag when you order uh, the smaller balls for the nose. You get the bigger ones. Well, I use those for the wheels on it. It's all distressed now, so it looks a little antique -y. And then for the handles, I just took apart a clothespin and attached that with some glue for the handles and then I wrapped them with jute put the flowers inside and so now he has a little wheelbarrow that I display in front of him so that's how that came about now I'm going to put the hat on the burlap you can get at Joann's and that straw hats are again from Amazon. So, so what I want to do is take the out, the seams on the outsides of the hat, put make sure they're on the outside, and put it down on his head. I'm going to glue it on the tops of his arms, and then it's very tight, and probably right in the back on the bottom. Okay, so let me let me turn them a little bit here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to put some glue right on the top of his nose. Put some glue on top of his nose. And hold that down for a minute. That's what I want to do is do a little bit of glue underneath on top of his shoulder so that the hat and the shoulder meet together to hold that glue. So we're going to do that. On both sides. If I can get in there. And let that set up. I'll be right back with you. So the next thing we want to do, we've got the hat glued on. Um, everything's going well. The next thing we want to do is put on his embellishments on his arms. His rake and his little ivy that I've got on his arm here and a little flower. So we're going to attach his, his embellishments. And there's no exact science to doing it. You just kind of have to do it how it looks right to you. The ivy's on there pretty good. I'll put the rake on next. We don't want that quite touching the surface, but we want it to be almost so it looks like it's the right size for him. So I can see where I'm going to have to glue it right in there.
you want to hold that in place let it set up just another minute and then we're gonna we're gonna put his personalized little burlap bag over here on this arm Okay, I think that's good. We'll put the burlap bag in between his arm and his body over here. Preferably that we can leave pea moss. Get that so I can see it a little better. I'm going to put this on um, fast forward while I just finish up these couple little pieces of embellishment. I'll be right back with you. We've got the whole thing finished except for I want to style his beard and mustache. I'll spray a little hairspray on there. That's going to overspray on the blush on his nose. Set that up a little bit. And then we want to fluff him out a little bit. Follow them up. And that's how he fin finishes. So we're all finished now. We have all the embellishments on. And he's all ready to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.